Hey, what's up guys, Dr. Paulson here. What do you do if you suddenly have broken off your lower button or attachment for your rubber band and you cannot get your rubber band on your lower section anymore? Here's a little trick that can help. So on this side of the model, I broke off the button so you can see how we're going to place the rubber band. The trick is to use part of the aligner to grab the rubber band. You'll want to put the rubber band around this corner of the aligner. Sometimes it can stay without any modifications and other times you'll need to put a very small slit right here on the aligner. I'm gonna show you how you could do that. You can either use a pair of scissors or a nail clipper and you wanna go something like that very very small and so the idea is to get the elastic right here and so when you wear it on the upper it grabs on the lower I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the model and show you here you can see it on the model and we basically made a lower hook from the aligner again sometimes you might have to cut this corner a tiny bit to get a little notch for it to stay on this way you can still wear your rubber bands even though you've broken a hook off the lower tooth. Now there's one thing that you have to be careful with and I'm going to force it to do it is that it will make the aligner pop off easier like this. Okay. If you have a lot of attachments unlike this model it is less likely uh, but that is something you'll have to continually bite down to make sure it doesn't fall off or even switch to a wimpier size rubber band temporarily. This trick is designed to be a temporary measure only until you have your button repaired. It may also work on button to button breakages or hook to hook breakages where one hook is bent or torn off. If you have any braces or Invisalign questions, please let me know. Also subscribe for more content about braces and Invisalign. And always have a fantastic day.